Hello there, senior high school students, and welcome to our new lesson. This video is for senior high school general mathematics, and we are now in lesson number two. That's about rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequalities. Are you ready? So let's hop in. What you need to know. Here are the objectives for this lesson. We have two. So at the end of the session, you're expected to define rational expressions and distinguish rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequalities. Let's review. Let's review about rational expression. What makes a mathematical expression a rational expression? When you say rational expression, it's written as a ratio of two polynomials. It can be described as a function where either the numerator or the denominator or even both have a variable on it. So again, it's a ratio. Second is in the numerator or the denominator or both, and they have a variable on it. Let's identify based on these examples. Example number one, x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over x plus 3. Is this a rational expression based on your prior knowledge or based on the definition shown earlier? I'll give you time. And the answer is, it's a big yes. This is an example of a rational expression. Now, what makes it a rational expression? Remember, Earlier, a rational expression is a ratio of two polynomials. So this is a polynomial, and the denominator as well is a polynomial. Second is, there's a variable in both the numerator and denominator. So that makes it perfect example of a rational expression. Now let's proceed to another example. How about this? Is this a rational expression? I'll give you time. And the answer is, it's also a yes. This is another example of rational expression. Now, if you're trying to look at this, there's a variable in the denominator. So the second criteria is checked. This one shows the ratio of two polynomials. The first one is, though it's a constant, it's considered as a monomial. And the denominator as well is a monomial. So we have monomial over monomial considered as a rational expression. Okay, let's continue with the third example. How about this? Is this a rational expression? And let's reveal, this is... No, not anymore. Why? Based on our lesson number one, this is not a polynomial function. The numerator is not polynomial because of the presence of your radical sign but your denominator is an example of a polynomial it's a binomial to be exact but again the numerator has a radical sign that makes this example not a rational expression are we good let's continue let's see another example how about this is this a rational expression think of it And the answer is, it's a no. It's not a rational expression. Now, this time, why? This is not a rational expression, even though the numerator is a polynomial, but the denominator does not qualify to be a polynomial. Why? Because of the negative exponent in the variable. That's based on our lesson number one for rational functions. Let's continue. How about this example? Is this a rational expression? Take your time. The answer is, it's a yes. Definitely a yes. Because you have here in the numerator, a polynomial, which is in the numerator, we have here a polynomial. And we have in the denominator, a constant. And this constant is still considered as a monomial. That's why this one, is an example of a rational expression. So we are done with the review for the rational expression. So let's jump into the highlight of this session. That is rational functions, 
rational equations, and rational inequalities. Before defining each, let's recall the basic symbols of equalities and inequalities. Let's look at this table. The first one here is what you call the symbol. So that's equal sign. Here, that's not equal sign. We have here greater than. Then we have the next one, less than. We have also greater than or equal to. And the last one here is less than or equal to. As easy as that. It's just a review on the different symbols that we will encounter as we progress with our lesson. So let's look at this table comparing the three important terms for this lesson. We have a rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. We are going to compare the three based on its definition and example. So let's start with the first one, a rational function. When you say rational function, it follows this form. It's a function in the form of f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where your p of x and q of x are polynomials and your q of x is not the zero function. Take note that your q of x must not be equal to zero or else it will make this one undefined. An example for this is this one. We have f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8, which is a polynomial, divided by another polynomial, which is x minus 2. Now, using this one, you can also rewrite that. Instead of using f of x, we can write it as y is equal to this given. Again, this is a rational function. Now, how about for rational equation? Let's move to the next column. Let's see. Rational equation. It's an equation involving rational expressions. That's why it's very important for us to identify if the given is a rational expression. Again, it's an equation, so it makes use of the equal sign. So let's see one example. We have here this one. We have 5 over x, which is an example of a rational expression, subtracted to another rational expression, 2 over 3x, is equal to 2 over 7. So that means this example right here is an example of a rational equation. You see the equal sign at the same time, the presence of your rational expressions. Are we good with that? So the last one is rational inequality. When you say rational inequality, from the name itself, it makes use of inequality symbol. So it is an inequality involving rational expression. So similar to rational equation, where it involves rational expressions, but in this case, you will see inequality symbols. Let's try to see an example. This one. We have rational expression greater than or equal to this rational expression. You have 2 over x plus 1 greater than or equal to 3 over x. So this is an example of a rational inequality. So let's try to see the comparison of the three main terms. You can pause this part of the video and look at the definition and the examples of the three terms. Do you understand? Now, to assess that, let me have here some items for us to identify. Identify if the one being flashed on the screen is a rational function, a rational equation, or a rational inequality. Let's start with the first item. Look at this. Is an example of what? I'll give you a time. That is an example of... Rational functions. Very good. That's it. Why? Because you have here f of x and you also have the ratio of your p of x. Here we have p of x is equal to 1 and this will be your q of x which is x squared plus 6x plus 5. Now, well done. Let's proceed to another example. How about this? Go ahead. This is an example of a rational inequality. Now, it's obvious because of the presence of the inequality symbol less than. It involves rational expressions. Let's proceed to the next example. How about this? Identify. Take your time. 
And the answer is, this is, let's check. That's an example of a rational equation, right? Because you have the presence of the equal sign, and aside from that, it involves rational expressions. Let's continue. How about this? This is an example of a rational equation. Great job. Good. Because you have here the presence of the equal sign and it involves rational expressions. Great. And this last example, identify. This is an example of, well, that's none of the choices. That's none of these. Why? None of these because you have the presence of the radical sign making the numerator not a polynomial, which is an essential criteria for us to identify the presence of a rational expression. Let's continue and let's proceed to the activity time. I prepared here five items for, for us to check your understanding for this lesson. I prepared a five-item assessment. Now look at these five items, first three items on the left side and the remaining two on the right side. Allow me to read the instructions. Identify whether the following is a rational function, a rational equation, or a rational inequality. I'll give you the link of the answer key for this activity in the description of this video for you to confirm your answers. Are we good with that? Okay, that sounds great. Finally, remember this. This is the highlight of this session. The comparison between rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequalities. So look at the definition and the examples for you to easily identify if the given is a function, a rational function, a rational equation, or a rational inequality. And that's it. We are done with lesson two of this topic, rational functions. I hope everything is clear and you've learned something for this session. So great job for today as always and I'm excited to see you in the next lesson. See you!